You want to hack like a pro? Then you need a virtual lab. But pick the wrong tool and you will spend more time fixing errors than breaking into boxes. So in this video, I'll show you the best virtualization tools for hackers in 2025. From beginner friendly to advanced, so you can build your lab the smart way. And here's something that most people don't realize. All of these tools can run advanced labs, like firewalls, Active Directory, malware analysis, you name it. I've personally built a full cyber range with VirtualBox for free and you can check it here above if you want. This isn't about what's possible, it's about what makes your life easier, more stable and in the end, more fun. So let's break it down. We will start with tools that anyone can use, even if you are just getting started. And the first on the list is VirtualBox. It's open source, runs on Windows, Linux, macOS and is often the go-to tool for new hackers. Why? Because the setup is lightning fast and you can install Kali Linux or a vulnerable machine in minutes. No account needed and no license headaches. If you assign enough CPU, RAM and storage to your virtual machines, then VirtualBox is stable enough for full Red Team Labs. Sure USB support and networking sometimes need extra tweaks, but if you are doing solo training, learning CTFs or just playing with tools like Nmap, Burp Suite, then VirtualBox is perfectly enough. Next we have VMware Workstation Pro. This used to be a paid tool guys, now it's completely free for personal use. Uh, this tool compared with VirtualBox feels smoother especially when running heavier tools like Burp Suite, Wireshark or Metasploit. Networking is more reliable, snapshots are easy and USB pass-through just works. No need for hacks. So why doesn't everyone use it? Because it's owned by Broadcom now and downloading it means that you have to create an account in order to download your VMware Workstation Pro. But once it's set up, it's one of the most reliable options you will find. If you want something that just works and keeps working, this is a smart choice. Now let's level up. These next tools are still free but they give you way more control, power and customization. Just be ready to learn a little bit more. The first here is QMU plus KVM. Now, QMU is a high performance simulator and KVM uses your hardware to boost performance. And together, they give you a powerful way to run virtual machines on Linux. Why use it? Because it's way faster than VirtualBox free and open source, and if you install Vert Manager, you get a simple graphical interface to create VMs, set CPU and RAM, choose disk formats, so no terminal needed for most things, but keep in mind that it's not as plug and play as VirtualBox. Even with Vert Manager, you will still need to use the terminal for things like fixing permissions, for example, but if you are comfortable with Linux, you will love how much control this virtualization tool gives you. Next, we have Proxmox. Proxmox turns an old PC into your own private hacking cloud. You install it directly on your hardware, not on Linux or Windows as we do uh, with VirtualBox, and then manage everything from your browser. With Proxmox, you can do anything from running dozens of VMs and containers to build isolated networks for malware analysis, etc. It's the closest thing to your own mini cloud. If you've got a spare machine or you want to simulate a real corporate network, then Proxmox is incredible, but it does require setup. You will flash an ISO, install it, configure bridges and access via web. But once it's up though, you will never want to go back. So now the big question is, how do you pick the right one? Let's walk through real scenarios to help you decide. If you are new to hacking and just need a few machines to test things out, then start with VirtualBox. It's easy, stable enough and has tons of tutorials out there. If you want better performance, smoother networking and polished features without spending a cent, then go with VMware Workstation Pro. 
Yes, Broadcom makes it a little bit annoying to get, but it's worth it. If you are already using Linux and want maximum control, then try QMU plus KVM. Just be ready to use the terminal. But the performance is elite. If you've got a second machine and want to build a full red team lab with isolated traffic and 24-7 uptime, then Proxmox is your best bet. It turns an old desktop into a powerful hacking playground. Well guys, don't overthink it, because the best virtualization tool isn't the one with the most features, it's the one that fits your needs and actually gets you hacking today. So tell me, which virtualization tool are you using on your hacking lab? Tell me in the commentary section down below, because I'd love to hear from you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching, see you next time, stay curious and stay safe. Bye bye!